This is Dean Rogers here at the third annual DC Black Film Festival here at the Miracle Theater. And we have one of the filmmakers whose film is premiering at opening night here at the film festival. From Unarmed Man, we have Harold Jackson III. How are you doing today? Good, good. How you doing? I'm doing fine. For those not heard about the film, tell us what it's all about. Well, the premise of the film is about a uh, traffic stop, but a police officer pulls over a man who uh, eventually he shoots and kills. Now, what's interesting about this film is we, we move past sort of the uh, uh, normal approach that people have, which is the social media aspect and, and the kind of the news and the flashiness of it, and we get behind the scenes and we get into the interrogation room where the police officer needs to uh, give his statement of what happened. And then we watch the police investigator and the case statement investigator and the police officer kind of go through the event and inside of the event they start to unravel what really happened as opposed to what is, is being told what happened what's being told what is being told happened so um it's interesting because we take a different approach to it it's a very um sort of a political approach to it but it's uh it's also a movie so it kind of meets you where it's at it's, it's great characters and great drama and great uh cinematography so it's just it's i'm, I'm really proud of it it's an all-around good film Indeed, and have to have this film, especially in the time of a little bit of civil unrest in the United States. I'm glad to have this film at the DC Black Film Festival. Yeah, I'm glad to be here, man. It's a wonderful festival. Um, it's my first time in the DC Fest. Um, I, I am I'm based here in DC, so it's just exciting to bring it home and premiere it here in DC at the uh, DC Black Film Festival. Wonderful. So tell us about what does it feel like to have the film not only being at the DC Film Festival, but also to shoot it in around the DMV. Yeah, so we shot uh, uh, some of it in uh, in the city in DC, mm -hmm. and then we shot a lot of it in, in uh, right outside of DC in Prince George's County. So we do a lot of exterior work in DC, we did some interior work in DC, and then we also did a lot of work in uh, Prince George's County. So it's a really, it's a local film, Every actor in the film is from the DMV area, so it's just exciting. Everybody in the crew is from the DMV area, so we didn't have to go outside of this area to get the right talent and the right people involved. So it's just um, it's exciting. It's a homegrown piece, and I'm uh, I'm uh, excited about it. Absolutely. So when did you realize that you wanted to become a filmmaker? Oh, that that I I don't think I ever not wanted to be a filmmaker. <laughs> Um, I'll, I'll only things I, I tell people all the time, the only things I ever wanted to do was make movies and play baseball, right? Play so, baseball, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, so even when I was a kid, I would, I, if you would have asked me at like eight, nine years old, what do you want to do? Mm -hmm. I would have told you I want to play baseball and then make movies on the off season. So it's always been something that's been a part of me. You know, I, I grew up in a family where we watched a lot of movies, mm -hmm. and um, it, you know, it kind of, it kind of remind when I think about it, it kind of reminds me of those old pictures when you when you're when you see like a family huddled around the radio yes. and they're and they're listening to a story but we were like obviously with TV so if you would have come to my house when I was young you would have found people on the floor just people on the couch everybody watching TV even though I'm relatively quiet my, my family isn't so they <laughs> they talk to the TV so I always wanted to do that to people I always wanted to get people involved and get them excited about film so who are some of the directors that you looked up to to inspire you to become a filmmaker um, so I, I really have only one favorite director, okay. and that's uh, Sidney Lament. Wow. Everybody else, every everything else is kind of uh, I have favorite I have movies I really like from people. Mm -hmm. So I, I mean, if you follow any director's sort of uh, filmography, you'll realize that sometimes they hit, sometimes they miss, sometimes they repeat themselves. But it, but every so often they get it right, and when they get it right, it's a beautiful thing. So I I really like Sidney Lament, but um, a lot of my favorite films are a hodgepodge of a lot of different directors, some foreign, um, you know, some some right here from the U.S. So, um, yeah. That's amazing. I never thought Sidney Lumet would come to anybody's mind. Yeah. So. yeah, yeah, that's my guy, man. He, he, all his characters yell a lot, so <laughs> that's what I find exciting. If you watch the movie, you'll probably see hints of that in the film. Absolutely, indeed. So what is next for you after you made this film? Are you going to premiere to other film festivals? Are you going to have it shown locally elsewhere? What's next for you? So we just got back from Martha's Vineyard literally last weekend. Wow. And we, uh, we, we screened it in Martha's Vineyard and we actually won Best Film, the uh, HBO Best Film Award in Martha's Vineyard. Nice. We're here in D.C. We're premiering it here in D.C. As soon as this is over, first thing in the morning, I'm on a plane to L.A., then we're screening it in L.A., mm. 
and then the next couple of screenings are um, uh, Toronto and Montreal and also we're doing some stuff in also in Maryland and Greenbelt so um, really my main focus is moving this film along but outside of that um, I, I've got a couple of other projects that are starting to come together I'm working on a, a television series pilot um, that I'll start shooting in the next probably couple of months so um, it's an exciting time for me it's, it's an exciting time for the film and um, I'm just, I just feel good I'm happy to be here Excellent. And is there a website where we can find more information about the film? Mm -hmm. uh, so we're doing a lot of our work we're doing out of uh, Facebook right now. Mm -hmm. So if you go to Facebook slash back uh, forward slash unarmed man movie. So unarmed man movie, you'll find it on Facebook. That's where you'll get a lot of your information. I can uh, be uh, reached at at Harold Jackson three, the number three, all one word. Um, and uh, also take a keep an eye out for uh, Danny Gavigan and Sean Woodland who are the stars of the film and again this is all uh, DC DMV talent this is all DMV crew everything was done here and it's, uh, it's exciting to be here tonight well we're glad to have you here thank you very much Harold thank, thank you. you so much and we'll have more from the DC Black Film Festival don't you dare go away and remember for more information go to dcbff.org